Go. <laughs> Let's go. They said it would never be done. Resident sleepers no more. Ryan, Gary, Laterno, Mathis Games, myself, Dan Geesling. We're entering the world of Tarkov. What's up, gentlemen? I don't How's know. It hey, we're having a standoff over here right now. Dude, you're the one in the funny hat. And okay. then. Yep. I don't know who this is. This is Dan. This is yeah. looks very tired. <laughs> Wait, so I who, don't know what I look like. Who's got the Who's got the helmet on? Is that Ryan? Ryan. Okay. It must be me then. All right, so let me explain. Let me give a first grade explanation for what this game is for, for people who have never seen it. Here's the first grade explanation. A bunch of players are dropped onto a map. Myself, Ryan, Gary, other real-life players, as well as AI. It's a very dialed-in, simulated shooter. The end goal, kill people, take their loot, successfully exit the map. If you successfully exit, you get to keep their loot forever and run it over again. If we die, it's going to be rough because we lose everything. However... Last caveat, right now we're playing as scavs, a.k.a., you know, like the, the bottom of the barrel. So we're, we're playing with house money right now, so just just so these guys learn the ropes. And Mathis, you have a little experience with this, right? Uh, a tiny bit, like under an hour. Okay. Dude, my computer sounds like a jet engine right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a Unity I'm, game, Ryan. You should be fine. Well, I'm not used to playing games with this level of foliage detail. <laughs> uh, speaking of foliage detail, one of you individuals, this, this is a good box right here to to search um, oh okay how does one search yeah uh, how, do, how do we f do button that? interacts so okay that, watch out by the way there's barbed wire on the other side of it <laughs> one of the great right, ryan you loot it up one of the great things about this game is there's loot boxes everywhere did you loot this thing ryan i, I mean i i cannot loot this oh wait you know yeah close the lid you savages <laughs> oh ah! all right so, so one thing to, to note, so right now, essentially, we're playing as was AI characters. We've taken them over. So if we run into other AI players, like AI enemies, they will not shoot us unless we draw first blood. Oh, really? But if all we right, draw first right. blood, then every one of us is going to shoot This us. is like Russian Borderlands. Mm. Loot grinding. Oops, I'm bleeding. Shit. I told you about the I think I forgot wire, about it. This. It's my first. I'm a rookie, man. <laughs> Recruit. My Am first I day assume... on the field. I should not keep shooting once and then reloading the whole magazine. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. So if you it's... hold hold Alt T, it will check <laughs> Alt T. It will check oh, your yeah. mag. Oh, it's All John right. Wick. <laughs> That's what we are. All right. So we got Captain Geesling leading yes. us to our first uh, military encounter, fresh out of fresh out of uh, boot camp. Yeah, so you know, I, I like to. What do they? What do they call new people? Jugheads? Are you guys jugheads? Sure, I'm a jughead. <laughs> jarheads. 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 Jughead jug is that is Riverdale. Archie's hungry friend. <laughs> so, so he, if you're gonna be a part of the Lieutenant Dan's crew, I say jump. You say how high? Fair enough. Understood. Rule number two: Do not shoot a bullet unless engaged upon or you get the correct order until you guys this know is what definite, you're that see that doesn't feel very russian to me <laughs> what, can what, i also explain yeah. uh can i uh, permission to make a technical suggestion lieutenant Dan? sure oh, oh russia um, that's me that's me that's me. Oh, scared the crap out of me uh, um perhaps you might want to lower the sensitivity or raise the sensitivity of your discord noise gate lieutenant are you hearing a lot of um what are you hearing Chippy a lot choppy? Of? The opposite, yeah. You're, you're cutting you're getting... out before the end of your dialogue, and you're cutting in after the start. So I want so so if I go, hey, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got all ten on that one. Yeah, I got all ten. Okay, that, yeah. I just I just got the mic in my mouth now, so that's fine. Okay, ah, oh, was that you? Okay. No, no, no. All right, so this is not a game where you can just run around and let's get over here, crouch, see if we get any visuals. So right up on this tower, it's a little bit hard to see. There's there's usually some scab brethren that we don't have to fight. I thought I thought they wouldn't shoot at us. They're not, but that Pink. means there's a player nearby. <laughs> oh, I saw like a flashbang. Oh, oh yeah, oh. over here. Uh, I, I don't know how to describe it. The sandbags you on see the a left side you see a guy? of the tower. I, I saw f muzzle flashes. Okay, let's move up just gently, quietly, gently. Um, let's wrap this so they will not shoot at us unless we shoot at them first so let's since it's so early on let's just kind of take the beaten path unbeaten path this way i'm going to take you guys to a nice mm. little loot spot it should be relatively unspicy and oh okay that's you guys making the noise uh, what <laughs> i'm nervous all right we, we can go up on this hill a little bit just uh i've never seen war before 
All right, so yeah, someone got popped right here. So here's here's the ultimate decision. One of the great things about this game, there's a dead body right there. He's got loot just over coming out of his pockets. But is it worth it to go get it? Probably There's a not. boy at the tree. Um, that was the left of the town. Yeah, I saw him. That's a human player. So back down, back down, but do not shoot with that shotgun. You're not in it. But all right, so we got a decision to make here. We could go. That guy's stacked. The guy that you saw run, that's a real life player. We could go try to get him. Or we could slow play it and just never engage with them. You guys make the call. But you're the captain, Dan. I'm I mean, a rookie. I mean, with two new guys, I would say probably no. But well, we gotta, we gotta have to a be... combat at some point, though. Uh, at the end of the day, all you gotta do is point and shoot. I mean, it, like you're used to playing Bumbo soccer, Ryan. This is the, this is the <laughs> farthest thing from Bumbo soccer. This is your heart. You saying gonna... it's harder than Minecraft? Wow! Whoa! Jesus Christ, I'm dead. Oh, God. Save me, Dan. I'm running. Okay, uh, I'm going to go push him here. Wait, Ryan, you're dead? Yeah, I'm Ryan's dead. down. All right, Ryan. I was, yeah. I was engaged upon. Mathis, let's go push him. And then, because... Oh, yeah, he's up, up top of the hill. I got him. He went to you, right? Okay, yeah. perfect. I didn't get him, but I see him. Okay. I'm pushing across the street. I'm chasing him. Hitting him. I don't see him. He's... I see you. No, okay, so don't shoot the guy in the tower. Because that... All right, he's done. Oh, man, this yeah, dude was yeah. stacked. So don't shoot the guy in the tower. The guy in the tower is... uh, He's a scam. Yeah, so he won't shoot us. Yo, we should have pushed this guy. All right, All right Ryan, enjoy your nap. No, dude, so we got to decide like, what we're going to so do here. I was killed. I'm um, empty, so how do I reload? Roma Suzlik, open parentheses, head, comma, top of the head. <laughs> that's the shots that you had is that where I got that's how I was destroyed yeah so lock up so when you die you drop a dog tag if you're a okay. real life player so I killed the guy man he was loaded too I killed the guy that got you and let me tell you how he killed you how so, do I equip any of this so it did it never I'm mind I killed him so you, I, I don't think yeah. my helmet was doing its job there. <laughs> Did it say how you you got you died from a headshot? Head, comma, top of head. Got it. So here's the thing, Matt. We should probably we're, we're not. It's gonna take a while for us to extract. Okay. So we should probably just leave because since Ryan died, it's okay. You know, it's gonna take a lead, while. Lead the way. I'm out of pretty, ammo, so pretty much just sitting at the. And my my leg is blown off. All right, so he, uh, where are you at, Mathis? I think behind you. Uh, I'm jumping. Are are these scabs? Yeah. So where go shoot. Go shoot Hello. these guys, so you can get shoot a little the scabs. Yeah, just so you get a little practice. I'll get this no. boy here. And then I'm gonna watch. There's this. another. There's another one. Yeah. Yeah, right yeah. I'm I'm the guy behind him. Okay. So Ryan. Oh, in I the have no I can't. I have no bullets. Ryan, in the meantime. Yeah. Go to your character and then get your main guy geared up. Okay. Because we got it. We can't do another scab run until there's a. Cool yeah. Run. yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you're, right, you're gonna have to kill him, uh, Dan. I have no bullets. Are you up in the tower? No, I'm on the floor. Here, take my gun. You need to practice. Where? What the hell? Is that you right, right there? Hi. This is me right, right. here. Hello. So Ryan, you want to give yourself a rig, a backpack, gun, and ammo. Okay. Oh, how do I tell type. ammo type? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what kind of gun do you have? Uh, it's an AKS-74. It's a Kalashnikov. Oh, it takes 5 by 45 There you I go. See. You want me to kill this guy, Dan? Yeah, give him a shot. All right. H headshot should be one I'm shot. I'm behind you. There's another dude behind you. So once you shoot this guy, the, the guy with the shotgun's going to shoot at you. So be ready to, to quick snap on him. You kill him. Opa, zaddy. One on the Dude, do you have to have served in the military to understand what's happening in this inventory screen? I'll tell you what. Yeah, and this is this is being honest. If I can figure it out, <laughs> anyone can figure it out. All right. Well, I can't. He doesn't have anything on him other than a gun, and I have no space to take the gun. Okay. Oh, is that you, Dan? Yeah. Oh, you're just gonna stab me to death? Yeah, I was gonna give you a shot to shoot me, but. Oh, I, I got no ammo. So. Oh, all right. <laughs> I only have uh, 60 bullets. Uh, in your inventory? Total, like in my stash. 
Okay, I'll bring some for you. I mean, I got a staggering amount of nine millimeter, and then I have a lot of these things that say PST.GZH nine times nineteen millimeter. Yeah, those are pissy rounds. Those are pissy rounds. Mm, <laughs> Attention, okay. you have lost all items you have received or found during the raid. Okay. Yeah. So, so the thing is, if you don't, if you die like Ryan, you lose everything that was in that raid. So, all right. So, Ryan, so I'll bring in some five four five for you. Should I take uh, how many bandages and med kits? Um, don't worry about it. I'll bring bring one for you. Okay. I'm assuming we don't need to bring rubles. Like, nah, nah, nah. It's it's like an all inclusive trip. Yeah, yeah. So if you <laughs> can if you can bring a gun, do you did you start with any ammo? Uh, I have 60. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. Um, any armor? Yeah, I start with a kit. Okay. Yeah, just come in with that then. Then we'll meet on shoreline again. Yeah, shoreline won't be as spicy, hopefully. And that's a good thing to play it now, which is, is kind of nice. There's a new map that's super, uh, as you would like to call, sweaty. So not a lot of people play <laughs> these other ones right now. <laughs> Dude, what is happening? Prepare to escape. Would you like to purchase insurance? Okay. <laughs> so here's the thing with insurance. So if you insure your stuff, which I wouldn't recommend at this stage in the game, if you insure it and you die and no one picks it up and leaves it, you get it back. That makes sense? But only okay. if nobody picks it up. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't really sound like insurance. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it's not like, you know, if, you know, someone steals your car, your car insurance doesn't go like, you know, <laughs> someone stole it, we can't reimburse you. It's still in the economy <laughs> somewhere. We can't just be adding one car's worth of value to the economy by paying out this insurance claim. I mean, it's the cost of doing business in Tarkov. <laughs> Mathis, do you know All how to right. get geared up? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm doing that right. I'm picking the map area right now. You said we're doing shoreline. Yeah, but did you gear up your character? No, I'll do that now, I guess. Yeah. If you start with... Oh, do I have to do that, do that before I pick my map? Yes. Yeah, you got to go back to the main menu. All right. I grabbed one of the five pistols from my inventory and one magazine of pistol ammo. You didn't bring your big gun? I also have my big gun, but that was already equipped on me got to it. start with. Okay. All right. Um, What is this gamma container? So the gamma container is, that's the caveat to the whole thing. So whatever you put in there is essentially safe. Meaning that if, if you, you die, it doesn't go away. Yeah. Or if you get something right. good, you can chuck it in there and not have to worry about it. I have a lot of things that have question marks over them. Yeah. So what that is, if you right click and hit examine, then you get a little XP. So it's a, it's a way of like mm. discovery in the game. So if you know if you find something new. Ryan, when you went into Shoreline, did you, you did the 7.15 a.m. one? Uh, I can't remember, but now I'm gonna I'm examining things in my inventory for experience. Got it. Oh, dude, we had a bunch of tuna cans. Nobody yeah, I've got about. tuna, some <laughs> water bottles, a couple yeah, splints. Do, do we need to bring water? Uh, no. If you, your you stomach, don't think we're gonna live that long. <laughs> no, I mean like you only need it if we're gonna be the, yeah if we're gonna be in there for like. Mm, 30 minutes, which is doable. You may need it, but we can scavenge it up, you know? Okay. Mm Alright, yes, I took the 7 a.m. one. Okay. I have a pistol case? What's in here? Oh. No. Matt, you know, I'm not trying to rush you. I've been sitting at the main menu for about 8 minutes. I'm so. ready. I'm just waiting on Mythos. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to bring, man. I guess I'll just bring a pistol. Uh, I'll bring a P226R. All right, so when you go into Shoreline, do the 7.22 a.m. Yes. All right. How much ammo should I bring? Um, I'd bring at least 120 if you got it. Ho Borvat, invited. Shit. I have accepted your invitation. So when I record episodes for this, just to give you guys a heads up, uh, it, you know, on my end of things, but this is where the banter fills it. I pause in between all this stuff because it could take like, you know, five minutes to gear up and do all that kind of mm, stuff. Yeah. Understood. <clears throat> so, Ryan, Gary, while Mathis is getting loaded up, you've now essentially ripped the tape off your Escape from Tarkov experience. To, how did you enjoy your first three minutes of the game? I mean, I didn't that? do anything is a big part of it. <laughs> the The quality of the, the textures and environments is up there for sure. Okay. What about and, you? You know, there's, there's just something about it. It has like a, it felt like a little like Daisy. 
mm-hmm. where, you know, it's like electric. You see another dude across <laughs> a hill and you're just like, I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe <laughs> and he's then you're dead. friendly and then he's going to shoot me in the head and, you know, take a couple cans of Coke out of my backpack. What's what, may I ask a question real quick? Yeah. What's AI two? AI is it look AI, like a piece it's of med cheese? Kit, it's like, or, yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's like it's like a entry level, like a tier one med kit. I'll bring it there. Um, I will say, Ryan, it, you did a great job. One of the hardest things in this game you did, which is to spot someone else, you know, especially off in the distance. So are, you got your glasses on? I do have my glasses on, <laughs> as you might expect. But that was good. I mean, to be able to call that out on a map you know nothing about and then ultimately get killed by the guy, it, it, it gave Mathis and I great intel, you know? You didn't have the view that I had, but he was literally like less than 30 feet away from me. Really? Yeah, so it was like... It was not a hard spot. Um, I'm not insuring. I'm just hitting next. Yeah, just go next. All right. All right <clears throat> you man. can invite me. I will say this, though. Th- so this game is um, there's a, a frontal learning curve, I- if you will. But once you get over that curve, oh, is it sweet. Uh, the, the, the loot, <laughs> the thrill, the kill. I will say this, and, I, and I, this will be my last guess and up of Tarkov. I haven't, like, biologically felt like this playing a game since Ultima Online except for the brief moments of like that first PUBG win or that force yeah. you know but that like you get that time and time again so what does that say about this game or what we're doing are we just chasing biological reactions? Are, the, are the hits enough though between like the downtime you know what what helps with the, the hits is that when you're looting and you get that fresh fresh rare like that gets that gets the juices going a little bit too you know yeah I can see that Cause there's a lot of places to loot, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if one of you guys goes off the beaten path and finds something amazing, just kind of, you know, stuffed out there. But what now would, the NPCs are gonna hate us, right? Yes. Amazing. So now everyone, sh- uh, shoot on sight. All right. Uh, who's this? Is that Mathis? Not me. I'm still I'm still loading in, so maybe okay. it's me, but I'm not. All oh right. my God! There's shots already. All right. Whoop, hello. I got something for you, boys. Here, this is Ooh, for okay. identification purposes. There's one for you. <laughs> I'm, it'll help. All right. That <laughs> way we put know. it on. It's already on. You're, oh, you're already sweet. wearing it, yeah. All right. All right, boys. Look at us. <laughs> Military. All right, you two can fight. Oh my God. You've got Jason, Jason Voorhees over yeah. here. You two can fight over that, but that's pretty essential to the game. That. Um, what is it? I don't know. You, I you have put it now. on. They're, I call them commies. They're called comtacks. When you put them on, it amplifies <laughs> hey. steps. Oh. oh. Okay. And then Ryan, you needed some, some ammo, right? I mean, I got 60. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take any more yet. Yeah, Ooh. I brought 60 pistol ammo as well. I think I just lost it. I'm gonna be a pistol wielding maniac. All right, you don't, you didn't bring a primary, Mathis? Hell no. All right, let's go, boys. So up there, out in the ridge where I'm pointed, that's uh, that's the spiciest area in the game. That's called Hospi. So we're not gonna go that way. We're gonna try. I'm, I'm, my goal is to keep you guys alive and successfully extract. No. Yeah, it reminds me of like a, a six-year-old taking out his like fifteen-year-old nephews. <laughs> <laughs> but your uncle's also like a mega survivalist. Mm. Mets, I love so- watching the barbed wire load in <laughs> as, as I walk. get closer to it. Unity. Mess, I'm surprised you didn't, you never got into this. This is kind of in your wheelhouse for like. It was. I tried. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It was way too slow to make an engaging series mm. out of for me. But I now mean, that I have an editor, maybe not. Yeah. What if you gave it the Kenshi treatment? You know. I mean that's. Yeah, but Kenshi. The thing with Kenshi is the world is simulated and like it operates on its own. So there's just constantly things happening. Where this is is drop in drop out just uh, multiplayer and I'm fucking terrible. So, mm. well, so am I, but it's still fun. <laughs> <laughs> so have you guys, hey, pl- you put enough man hours into this where you're not terrible anymore. Have you guys uh, played any Apex since our last runs? Yo, check this out. Yo, yo. I got a great Apex story for yeah, you. Yeah, hit us with it. We were playing during Kate's bounty last night. Me, Corey, and Kate. Mm-hmm. Corey and Kate and I were separated. They were, they were together, I was alone, maybe with like 10 people left. All of a sudden, you know, three squads remain. It's me, and I don't know how many. Could be as many as six other people, right? Mm-hmm. Nice. So, 
I use a grapple. I did. I did. Okay. All right. What I use a grapple and I, I sneak up, knock one out, dies instantly. Two squads remain. So I'm like, yo, it, it's me versus three other people. Final circle. I jump into the final circle. It's the size of my character. <laughs> Literally, like my shoulders are touching the sides of the circle. Nobody else jumps into the final circle. I'm standing there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. It keeps counting down. Then the circle shrinks to nothing. I'm standing there. Nobody else is around me. All <laughs> of a sudden, one lifeline jumps out from behind the building, and I tag her. Like, six shots, she's dead. We won the game. Nice. There were three, three squads remaining. Each squad only had one person on it. I would have Four, to imagine three. that you yelled, let's go after that one. Yeah, what the I heck? Did. Why, why is the barbed wire touching me when I'm on the boards here? All right, so does this area look familiar to you guys? A little bit. Oh, dude, this is where we spawned last. Yeah, time. so we're gonna we're gonna try to keep it familiar for you guys. So let's let's hang down on this side of the mountain here, and then we know we're gonna approach that guard tower to the right. So, but this time they're not gonna be so nice. So we're pretty much if they don't have a red armband on, they're shoot to kill. And we should shoot them on. Yeah, side. I mean. Okay. You got to be able to like, need first. Or... Yeah, if if you think you can hit the shot, take it. But if you're unsure, do not take it because you could get us all lambasted. I think I know the answer to this, but is there like a compass or something? Uh, no. <laughs> so we just got to be like to the right of the tower. Yeah. Dude, it's like going back to like pre H one Z one. Yeah. This is like armor level. Yeah, and this is like um. This is kind of the best way to learn is you just play one map and then you get to know the landmarks and it's really like it can be super overwhelming at first but once you get in it's you just know the landmarks and it's it's pretty easy and I'm and I'm telling you guys this because it you know it's just a really enjoyable experience once you get over that and by the way I appreciate you guys dialing in for this cuz I know it's it's a little bit of a stretch you know but uh we'll have some fun with it Dan, right. I got a question for you yeah. on a scale from one to ten. Yeah. How upset would you be if I just riddled your PMC with <laughs> bullets right now? <laughs> it took everything he had. You know, <laughs> how much would that set you back? If it was towards the end of a video and it was a good video, I wouldn't mind it at all. Because then you get to keep the stuff. But like, if we die early, you saw what happened. Like from a production yeah. standpoint, it's, you know, it's resident. Yeah, there's sleeps. like no no spectate yeah. mode, huh? All right, so let's. Be careful right here. Just want to see. I want to try and get you guys some kills here, but so we're the, we're gonna encounter a, a scav here, if not around here, somewhere around the bend here. So let's just dial. Um, but I'm gonna take you guys to this. So basically, we're gonna we're on the outskirts of the map here. We're gonna wrap around and, and kind of stay in the outskirts. That way, it's like. You don't got to worry about a 360 piece of pie. We just got to worry about 180, which is to our right from here. Mm, okay. Understood. So, did you guys ever play in like any Arma or Day DayZ or anything like that? I, I played a good chunk of the DayZ mod when it was new. Like, yeah, same. Like, how. Dude, I kind of miss like the. the magic like, I, Dan, I don't know if you played uh, DayZ, but it's. I don't know if I've ever played another game that captured the same kind of like ambiguity around meeting another player like you just be walking around and you know you'd meet someone and you both shout friendly and then you could choose whether or not to be a, a total piece of garbage <laughs> like everybody was remember, all the time dude i remember like one video i like met up with a dude and i was like friendly friendly and then he laid down he had like a a sniper and a scope and he was like scoping people out and while he was prone i just went into his backpack and took all of his food <laughs> and then later uh, youtube was very mad at me let's just put it that way after i took all his food uh i like went into a building and started getting chased by zombies and he sacrificed himself to like get the aggro off of me and keep me alive what after i stolen all of his stuff it that's, was great that's on your youtube channel yeah, like way back in the day. 2012? <laughs> 2012, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's the, the, there, it's not in yet, but to me, once they put VoIP in the game, I think it'll be a game changer because I think that's what's missing from the game right now. It's pretty much like in, unless someone's really like under geared and they know it, you can kind of go up to someone and do this to them. Hold on. Is that you? 
Yeah, give him one of those. And then they kind of... Dude, yeah. that's crazy, because, like, uh... Whoa! Yeah, that's uh, shots. shots. That's no. super uh, far that's out that way. We, uh... Me and Josh and, and some other dudes used to play, like, you know, Rainbow Six 3 on Xbox. Yeah. And we thought we invented the lean back and forth thing. <laughs> you would just do it. You'd call it the friendship dance. And you would go up there, like, a person on the enemy team, and they'd, like, try to pop shots, and then you'd go like this. And, like, half of the time, they would just ice you. And then the other half of the time, they would just lean back and forth with you. Yeah. Just hang out with them. That Metis is in Tarkov. But I, I, pro lives. I probably say it's probably 75% kill, 25% save. <laughs> <laughs> but I respect, you know, if someone, if someone gives me the lean, I, I usually give them the trust, you know? When I was 15, I would have given them the lean. Now I would just ice them. <laughs> Easy. I, I gotta take every kill I can get. You, YouTube has jaded you. <laughs> well, right. no, it was back in the day, I was good enough to get kills on my own. All right, so you now guys, my reaction times are all rusted up. Are you ready? Are you ready to pick up the pace here a little bit? We're just gonna make some. Oh, noise dude, I, I thought this was max speed. No, <laughs> it's just when you run, it's like setting off a beacon for people to find you. But we're we're close <laughs> enough where we got cover. You ready? Yeah. Oh, that's a good screenshot right there. <laughs> Until you guys both turned around and ruined the, <laughs> ruined the ambiance. All right, let's go this way. Be careful. There's up to our like rightish, like our one o'clockish is gonna be. A potential scab. Clack, 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 clack. What, dude? You can't spring quietly uh, with 14 <laughs> kilograms of stuff on your back? It's real hard. I've got nothing in my backpack, so I don't know why my dude's so loud. I feel like it, whenever we play game, whenever we played anything, I've I've had no sense of responsibility. I've been. I was just thinking that. <laughs> no, it's like. I got a big, like, I'm making the decisions here. I, I, I know the game. If, if I make a bad decision, I, I'm going to feel responsible here. All right, we'll be okay here, though. All right, so you know, you've already made a, the first great decision, which is this run being long enough for us to do another scav run <laughs> if things go wrong. <laughs> Dude, all I want to do is slide now. <laughs> all right, all right. You hear that? Did you hear that? You guys hear that? Nope. Some, uh, there's a scab yelling up here. So this, that blue and white building right there, that's where we're going. That's a office area, and there's a good loot up there. There's a box here. Should I open it? I'm yeah, open it. I think it's just ammo, but please do. I'll take. There's no, nope, not even ammo. Nothing. Okay. Is there a breath holding? Button? Yeah. Uh, when you ASD, it's uh, left alt. All right. So definitely 100%. There's gonna be. See this gas station this way? There, yeah. There's gonna be. There, this is a choke point for scabs, so just. Be is ready. it really called DP fuel? DP? I don't know. Alright. I can hit Y hovering over somebody. Remember when you says cooperate? What does that do? I don't know. Here, Ryan, don't move. I'm gonna hit Y and cooperate with you. <laughs> Wanna party? Okay. <laughs> well, oh, I didn't know that was in there. Wanna party, Ryan? Yeah, want a party? Hey, stand still. Go ahead. I've got a proposition. It. Let's work oh, yeah. together. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Let's work together. All right. So, who needs the lean when I can just? Hit yeah, I was line? just gonna say, yeah. There is like a communications wheel in the game that we can do a bunch of hand signals. I don't know how to access it though. It's pretty good though. I like every time you stop from splint sprinting, he just skids. He's moving so fast, he just. <laughs> All right, boys. It's like an anime run. <laughs> I, I invite you guys to one of my favorite things in the game. It's not Resident Sleeper. You pick, pick a stack of drawers and start searching them, boys. There's gonna, there's gonna be something great in there. I'm gonna go sweep this the area. This is my kind of game. I'm just sweeping right. the area. Nothing in that filing cabinet. Nothing in that filing cabinet. I got some matches. Nothing in that filing cabinet. A cricket? I don't know what that is, but I'm taking it. Nothing in that filing cabinet. <laughs> and a plug. <laughs> Next. This filing cabinet. Oh, this one has something in it. Oh, shoot. What'd you get? I'm examining it. It's a. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, what the God. hell, dude? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I, I itchy trigger finger. It's a USB converter. All right. Uh, Ryan, do you have the commies on, or is that Mathis? That's, That's me. Mathis. Okay, Mathis. 
There's do not be greedy, Mathis, but come here. I got something else for you. Oh. And I got something else for Ryan. I can't promise you what's inside of it, but right here, Mathis. Oh, it's safe. Is it looted? It is. No, there's something in it. All right. Uh, 680 rubles. Oh, Ryan, come here. I got something for you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is the whole point, you like, you scrounge for, like, PC parts in here, and then you build your own supercomputer that's strong enough to play Tarkov? You can, a <laughs> <laughs> you can actually do that. Uh, uh, right there I got a you. vase. I got a oh, Ooh, Matt, boss. put that in your gamma. I did, I did. What, yeah. is, what, is, what is it gonna get me? That's like fifty to eighty thousand ruples. Oh shoot! What can I spend I, ruples on? Better gear. Prostitutes. Man, Look, man, this. What? What's, you invited me to do this. If you're gonna thing. complain about Adpocalypse, what's in there? Right? Oh, dude, Adpocalypse. Are you guys ready for Adpocalypse 2.0? <laughs> Fortnite and Disney have announced they've pulled their advertising from YouTube. I mean, isn't that exciting? Huh. I don't know if we want to get into that. <laughs> Ryan, what was, in the, what was in the safe? It was like maybe 3,000 rubles. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you have 3,000 rubles before I died? I, I, there was a complaint and I, I, did, the, I did the math. All right. Um, I can search this computer? Yeah, Should that's I what I was going to... Yeah. All right. That looks like a circuit board of a type. I mean, yeah. So, so real talk. So two big advertisers pull out. What's your guys' level of concern? Essentially zero. Why is that? <laughs> Just here we go again. Well, yeah, it's already, you know, it's already happened on YouTube. All right, I got a CPU fan, a circuit board, and a DVD player, boys. We're in good shape. All right, boys. You Ooh, guys trying to kick down that? doors? I'm trying to kick this door down. Oh, is that what that is? Okay. It's too strong, dude. <laughs> you need a key for it or something? Uh, I don't think you can open that one. All right, let's head back here. So the other thing that's worth uh, just mentioning, if you hit the O button twice, it tells you where your extracts are on the map. Oh. Cool. All right. Do we, how do I is put... that how long it's open, or is that how long we have to survive until it's open? No. Uh, all right, we got it. Okay. Fall back, fall back, fall back. I want one of you guys to kill him, not me. Is it a scab or yep, a player? Yep, a scab. He's, he's to the right of that green van. I wanna, I wanna, I feel like I gotta, you guys gotta clip the wings, That's, this one's on you, boys. I don't see him. Okay. So. I see the green ring. van. Yep. Left of gas station. There you go. Uh, crouch if you can, because he can pop you. Yeah, this. I gotta heal up. Are you, okay. I need some heals. Yeah. I was, I did not bring this. Here you go. Uh, yeah. So there's one next to the green van gone. Um, did you kill him? No. I no. don't know if he's the one on the left then. No, there's so one. we've got two. Okay. Yeah, there were two there for sure. Here, Ryan. Let's look at my health. Uh, both of my legs have been shot off. Okay, so you need one of these. Uh, here. I uh, think I knocked him. I think I knocked him. Yo, there's no knocks in this game, mister. <laughs> no, I didn't kill him. <laughs> Uh, he was over dead. He was dead ahead, uh, and then he fell over. Oh, nice. How do I know if I killed him? Just body? If his body's dead? Yeah, there? if you drop like a sack of russets. All okay. right. Thanks for I the think mentos. No I think he's dead. No, only take one, Ryan. Ryan, only take one. What are you doing? I took two. I took two. <laughs> no, you don't take two. You don't need to. That's too much for your blood. One of my legs is still broken, though. It's okay. You're, they're they're going to stay broken. Now you can just walk on them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Overdosing, Ryan. Oh, no. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. All right, Christ. I'm going to take him out. I'm going to take him out. War is hell. War is hell. Do not stand up. I'm going to try and scope Yo, my gamma is all messed up now. <laughs> oh, he's left of gas station. Okay. Oh, don't stand up. Whoever that was, duck, please. That, that's Ryan. Duck. That's Ryan. Dude, I think I dropped him. Duck, please. Duck, please. Okay. I got him. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. Dude, what's wrong with my gamma? Uh, so when you take a painkill, I think there's one more. Let me go first. Let me go first. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. Who shot that? Oh, he's, that he's, at the end, he's at the end of the road. Here, go fall back. I'll, I'll let you guys go. I'll help you guys go get him. Oh, yeah, I see him. I see him. Ryan's popping shots. So the... It's pretty good. I remember reading on the forums, like, maybe a year ago, that the AI was too good. Yeah, like, this... Like, a little... Laser. It's been fairly balanced. Is he still there, Ryan? Yep. Yeah. 
Dude, I need like a firing range or something. This here, come crazy. here. Get, go, get behind this sign, Ryan. I'll give you something here. And I'll give it to Matt. I'm, I'm rushing. Here, take this. You got five shots with it. How do I prone? Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Z? Is there a way to prone? Uh, yeah. It's X. X. That's like, um, the one in PUBG. So it's, it's a, it's a pull and then it's gonna pull yeah. out on you. What is that one called? I forget. The car 98. Yeah, that's what it's like. I'm going through his pockets. <clears throat> oh, you killed him, Mathis? I killed one of them, yeah. Okay. So, the reason, so when you take drugs in the game, it like has a visual effect on you. Yeah, I'm, I'll, <laughs> I'm leaned out. I'm always, I got a hat now. Mathis, put that mask over your face. Hell yeah. Watch out, boys. There's dangerous levels of bloom coming from the gas station. Ryan, did you get that guy Same. down the road? No, 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 no. That's why I'm, I'm at the back of the gas station. Okay. Anybody want Run. a backpack? Oh, uh, Ryan, do oh, you have a backpack? Oh, I see him. He's, he's at the gas station, the front side. Can you take a shot at him? Never fear. I'm, I'm flanking. I'm coming around back, so don't shoot me. I'm behind. If you didn't, if nobody, he's oh. dropped him. <laughs> <laughs> One shot with the sidearm right between the shoulder blades. Where are you, boys? Then you gotta the tag him once in the That's us, Mathis. That's sure us, Mathis. Done. I know. I didn't shoot. I didn't shoot. Oh. That, was, I, that was me. I, I took. I executed him. Just okay. To make sure. He has uh, a duffel. He had a duffel bag with a key on him. All right, Ryan, loot, loot your first kill, kid. Yo, but I want to give you your gun back first. All right. How do, how do you drop this? Uh, go in your inventory. Right click it. Discard. Uh, so he had a 206 key. Oh, what it takes that? a second. There you go, Matt. Let's see. What is that good? Um, it, no, it's not a good key, but it's your first key. Okay. I, I put it in your gamble. <laughs> oh, good news, boys. You ready? Check this out. You see that, Daniel? <laughs> what is it? How, how about this? You want to see something cool? I'm, I'm John Lennon. <laughs> I'm Russian John Lennon. <laughs> Isn't it the thrill, the kill? Plus, you never know what's in his pockets. I'm just gonna. He he had an MP153 on him. Oh, okay. You, you check it's his a 12 pocket. gauge shotgun. You, you check his pockets. Um, I I guess not. Check. How does one check his pockets? So see oh, where, his yeah. tactical rig examined. Yeah. Well, he's got a scab vest. You have a vest on, right? Yeah, you do. You got a good. Yeah. Rig. I would take those ballots in his in his vest. How do you how do you search his bag? Um, so see in the right next to where it says backpack, there's a button that says search. Yeah. Just oh, I, I I don't mean this to be rude to the Not? developers whatsoever. Yeah. Usually, magnifying glass plus search it indicates a text field that you would type <laughs> something into to search for an item as a filter. So Dan, when I hit yeah. Alt T, yeah. it tells me like about half. Is yeah. there a way to get like a detailed like yeah. definitely? Yeah. So hit tab, tab, and then right click your gun, and what does it say? Inspect, reload, unload, unequip, or discard. So it's what I would do, I would just reload. Do you have another mag? Uh, yeah. I would reload, and then it should tell you. Uh, oh, is that you? Is that you? No, 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 okay. no. Hang tight. I can't run. Both my legs are broken, boys. I'll uh, pop one of those PKs. Where is he? Do you know? Uh, I think down towards the road. I'm looking though. Player or scav? Uh, that sounded like a scav, but hmm. Where are you guys at? Cause I don't want to pop anymore. I'm over to the. Wait, right Ryan, you didn't take the PK. You're walking like. Did you take it? Here, use. That's me uh, to your right. That's me. Okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. Cause that's the thing when you sit here and like we we bop some guys and but we alerted everyone where the heck we are. So for the gun that I just stole, you didn't steal it. You I, earned it. That's true. Yeah. How do I, uh, how do I let the game know that I have the ammo required to use it? Cause it won't reload. Um, where is your ammo? Where did you put the ammo? It's in my vest. Uh, hit Alt T. Oh, Nothing these, in these, the chamber. These mags only carry ten. It, it says empty. Yeah. Well, there's nothing in the. In the bottom right corner, it tells you. Oh, it's just full. Actually, there you go. So you're loaded. All right, let's go, boys. Let's try to get an uh, an exit here because you guys got some loot. 
Yeah. Ryan, if you do scroll wheel up, you'll start, stop crawling. There you go. The, no, don't run. Don't <laughs> run with busted legs. Don't run with busted Dude, legs. Dude, you guys. <laughs> you can walk fast, but don't run with them. All right, so, so far, you guys got, what, three kills between the two of you guys? Something like that. Yeah. That's not easy. Sometimes it'll take... <laughs> oh! Oh, dance down! Oh, God! Did That's one a player, right? No, not necessarily. Did one of you guys didn't shoot me, right? No, no. Okay. I, I swear. I don't even know where the shots are coming from. So Ryan, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wrap wide. It it came from the left. No, that's a player. That's a player. Do you? So he's be he's he's near the roadside. So if I were you guys, I would just sprint sprint straight in that direction we were headed, and there's an exit right up there right away. I mean, I'm not supposed to run on broken legs. Oh yeah. I mean, you can, but you're just gonna do more damage to yourself. Just... All right, Ryan, I'm right behind you. Oh my, dude, my vision's getting cloudy. I can't run anymore. My dude, he's turning into a zombie. <laughs> stop running, stop running. We'll walk, we'll get you out of here alive. Captain might be dead, but, whoop! Oh! I don't know where that came from. I got right from. side of the rock. I got right side okay, of the rock. Okay, I'll go left, I'll go left. See if they keep an eye peel. I gotta use a medical kit here. Make make Daniel Giesling proud. Yeah, I've I've, I've taught you guys the ways. I don't know how to get out of here. So, so if you keep he on that road we were going toward, just take it all the way down, and then it'll run into like a tunnel that's like with a bunch of rocks in it. That's where you want to go. You're gonna see a bunch of cars down there. There's gonna be scabs around there, so you guys gotta dial in. It's not gonna be an easy street, but it, but it's in front of you. Ryan, Ryan, wait, wait. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Thought I heard footsteps. All right, we gotta go, I guess. Yeah, Ryan? I would. I would extract 100. percent I don't know. I, this way, I guess. I can't. There's run. no. There's no. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. There's no road. As I run, I start to bleed more. Okay. Do you have that um, that med kit I gave you, Ryan? I used the all 300 medical okay. experience inside of it. So, you guys don't see that uh, like that that shoreline. You don't see that. You don't see the the well, water. Well, we we wrapped wide because of him. Did you wrap? Yeah. You, you wrapped to the right, or you had yeah to the okay. right. Okay. Can Is you, pier boat on the shore? No, you want to go to. You guys got to get back to that road and head that direction. That's the easiest way for you to get out. Were we on a road? You know, well, you know the gas station road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the road that's that uh, that I've we were on right? when we Where got into you? our first engagement. Yep. You need to take that all the way down, and that's the exit. You can do it. I believe in you, boys. Oh, up, okay. boys. I wish I could tell you where. I definitely hurt, hit him because I heard him scream. I'm popping up with my shotgun, Mathis. I'm ready. I hear the shots. He's Who come wants back. To live forever, dude. <laughs> but my dude, I wish he could stop choking and coughing and dying. <laughs> yeah. It, it makes my ambush very difficult. I don't yeah. know where you. Just don't shoot me. Hurts. Dude, I'm not gonna shoot you. Just don't shoot me if you see me. I'm, I'm a dude walking on broken legs through the freaking underbrush. I hear shots. I don't see him. Is it this big tanker, Dan? Um, no. So the the road will end into a tunnel, and uh, like, oh. and there's like a bunch of cars. But if you just hit that road all the way down, it's right there. You're gonna see a bunch of ambulances, but there's gonna be about two or three scavs there. So you can't just run for it, Marty. You got to be smart, and you can tap them. You guys got the ability to tap them, but I, well, <laughs> we separated. <laughs> I don't know where Ryan well, I'm, is. I'm following the road. Okay. I found some train tracks. Yeah, Mathis, you're way out. Mathis, see if you can find the the sun, and then that'll lead you back to the water. All right. Well, right now I'm trying to avoid the most geared man I've ever seen. <laughs> so I'm at Rusted Barge. Okay, you're close. So it's uh, the Rusted Barge is on your left, right? Yeah. Okay. So you see how the road hooks just a little bit down to the right? Uh, I haven't gotten that far yet, I guess. Okay, do not go rusted barge. But you can almost run the the shoreline all the way there. You can do that. But there's going to be scabs up to your right if you do that. I will limp the shoreline all the way there. You, you burned all those PKs, right? 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. My head only has six out of thirty-five HP now. Uh oh. I'm it, not thinking straight. Is your screen red at all? Kill the scav. Nice. Yo. No. Dude, I just wish they were spectating. Well, that wouldn't be very realistic for a military simulator, although I do agree with you. Uh, I don't know if I was a player, uh, but he's got a purple backpack on. And purple? I killed it. Yo. Yeah. Mathis, is it a pilgrim? What does it say? I'm gonna. I'm opening his body right now. I don't know. Oh, dude, I'm so scared. <laughs> uh, dude, was that you, Mathis? Something dude in a hat just came over and said something in Russian. Nope, not me. And then he crouched. And then I looked at him and just like one shot him with my shotgun and he <laughs> ran away. Not me. <laughs> uh, the backpack he had was a pilgrim, yeah. Oh, that dude. You, can, that you can fit a Walmart in there. Oh, okay. There's a rubble infested tunnel at the end. That's it. That's your exit. I'm telling, but there's going to be some the potential scabs. Is there a quick way to move my loot into different backpacks? Mm, define quick. Like not drag and drop? Or like right click? Oh, uh, yeah. Right click. I'm out. You made it? Escaped. <laughs> I made the game. Uh, Tarkov has been escaped from. <laughs> Congrats. You never right clicking does not move it over, by the way. Oh, uh, <laughs> my God. Uh, not Why didn't you tell me my guy looks like a supervillain now? <laughs> right click control, Mathis. Or left click control. How do I dump my back unequip? I want to switch my backpack, but it's red, and I can't. Your backpack is red? Well, yeah, I, if, I, if I drag the new backpack onto my oh, backpack yeah. slot, it's just red. How do I get so rid of it? So right click, so on your left hand side, right click the picture of your backpack. Yeah. And then quit. discard. No, discard. Oh, discard. Yeah. It's going to take this a second. isn't that bad. Look at it, only lost a pint of blood. <laughs> It's not so bad. So honestly, overall <laughs> accuracy three percent, boys. <laughs> That's not accurate. I mean, like it's <laughs> it's like the, the numbers not accurate. But the good thing about surviving a raid, you you just gear up and go again. You don't got to fool around, you know. Oh. Got some experience. Yeah. So Hit level two. Lost. Mathis, give me give me some some land trees. <laughs> um. Behind me is a tall, there's like power lines. Okay. Um, ahead of me is a dirt road with a tank on a bridge. Okay, I know where you are. Uh... The tank's on my left. I'm passing it. Yeah, it's going to be tough, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that your friends can't spectate. I mean, don't oh. worry, man. I'm arranging my inventory. <laughs> Plus, I get to wear the John Lennon glasses yeah. next time. So, Ryan, um, it, I see like a giant red and white and black ball on a oh. looks like a water tanker. Maybe. Yeah, almost. you're way the heck out there, man. Well, which where, where's my closest exit? Where I'm at? I uh, hit hit zero twice, or O twice. I'm sorry. It just says fi uh, they just have question marks. What are the names though? Pier boat tunnel rock passage. Um, pier boat. So if uh, can you get back to that office building? I've been trying to look for it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I can't figure out where I am. Um, there's a rock archway that I'm seeing on a dirt road. Is that okay? So face well is there a big building behind it? Nope. <laughs> I just need to know which way you're facing the rock passage and I can I can get you there. I would love to tell you. Okay. It's like trying to tell people on the NLSS how to join a lobby. <laughs> I see like a uh, uh, like a cabin in the woods. Yeah, you Mathis, you got to get to the water, man. That's the only thing. I Once you get to the water, all right, I'll I try can and get find you there. Water. Watch out! There's a dude there that I angered. He's not gonna give you the benefit of the doubt this time. Uh, Ryan, in the upper right hand corner, how many ruples do you have? Three hundred and three thousand. Yo, you're doing backstrokes and money. So here's, <laughs> we need to get you. Um, what kind of armor do you have? I have a tactical rig. Okay. Does that even count? No, so it's on the left-hand side where you see oh. headwear body armor. This dude, I definitely should have taken that dude's vest then. The reason I didn't take it is because I thought, dude, how can scav vest beat tactical rig? 
Mm. Okay, I'm gonna interrupt here. I yeah. think I see water. I think I see the a road. Yo, <laughs> you see rusted uh, barge? It might be. Is it a large barge that is also <laughs> rusted? I no, I see a long blue fence. Uh, um, with a crane. Uh, and a bunch of, I definitely am at a pier, it looks like. It looks like a bunch of buildings on the shore here. Okay. Uh, to the, yeah, I'm definitely on a road that is... Is the water on your left or right hand side? Dead in front of me. Okay, like, that's where ahead. you want to go. So, go towards the water and then hook a right. And on you... the road or should I pass across the road? Alright. And the other side of the road, is there water? Okay, so you want me to just go right up to the water? Yeah. Got it. Okay. All right, so Ryan, so we got to get you some body armor. Sure. All right, I'm next to the water. I took a right. Okay. What do you and see? You just follow. Uh, I just see construction. Just looks like construction vehicles. Yeah. Uh, so you want the water to your left? If the water's to your yep. left, then just take that thing all the way down. Okay. And what am I looking for specifically? It, until the road ends, there's going to be a tunnel with a bunch of rocks in it. Okay. And then that's your exit. Okay. All right. So we got Mathis on the path. Ryan, uh, go to... I'm on trading, yeah. Yeah, go to... Let me see. How many dollars do you have? 300 and something thousand. Uh, okay. I'm Like dollars or rubles? Dollars. Because there's dollars, rubles, no and idea. euros. Well, like Probably zero then? What does it say in the upper right-hand corner? When I'm at my character screen? Um, and the buy screen. Oh, dude, it's zero dollars. Zero dollars, zero euros, 303,000 rubles. Okay. So let me see where you can buy some ammo here. There's a weird building on the left that that's in the middle of the water that has a red blinking light on it. Should I go there? No. No, 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 no. Stay the path, Mathis. Stay the path. Stay the path. <laughs> I was just hoping maybe that was like the pier boat exit or something. <laughs> It actually Dude, could. maybe I'll just go buy this uh, Colt M4A1 on the flea market <laughs> for 1.3 million rubles. Okay, Can so I get radio silence for a second? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's somebody around. All right, good, good. I'm just going right. to keep moving. So, Ryan, so you made your way to the flea market, right? Correct. All right. See where it says browse in the, in the upper left-hand corner? Yeah. Type in armor on right underneath that. And hey, the gas station we died at. Am I still going the right yeah, way? Yeah, yep, you're about half. Is it on your right? It is on my right hand side. Oh, dude, you're gonna make it. <laughs> All right. Okay, I've, I've typed in armor. Okay. So now you see a bunch of armors, right? Yeah. They're all unknown, though. <laughs> they are. Yeah. Well, no. Okay. Now I can. I guess I can just examine them. Yeah, yeah. But on That's the left, a little it, strange. You, sure. you see a list on the left hand side, right? Uh, yes. Okay. So. Erase armor and type this in. Is it in the Discord? No, no, no. I'm telling you. Um, type in MF and then minus sign. Okay. MF Untar Armor Vest? Yeah. So click that. 45,000. No, 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 no. Then sort by price. And buy, you know, around 20, any of those 20. No, 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 no. Don't buy them. So see. See at the end of the, the listing, it says MF Untar Armor Vest 19 of 45 or whatever, slash 45. Yes. That's the hit points on it, so you want to go down. Oh. Yeah, so you're you trying to rip me off with the, <laughs> the shredded shirt. <laughs> so you want to buy like a 43 or something. You can repair yeah, I'm it. Yeah, take, I'm taking this 43 from Demon 81. There you go. Buy it now. Can I, can I negotiate? Can I be like, hey, <laughs> I didn't I'll think. Take Cut a little bit off the top, and we can get this deal done today. I, I, Am I? Is it just going to be at the end of this road? Yep. All right. God, this road is a hundred miles long. I didn't think you liked. I mean, it's not that long if you go the right way from the. <laughs> well, listen, we got separated by panicked shots. All right, like real I, war times. I mean, I was listening to the ghost of Obi Dan Kenobi go and keep <laughs> the water at your left and go to the end of the road. <laughs> Look, I killed maybe a player. He wheeled around. There's no way he was a scab. He wheeled around the corner, just stared at me as I put pistol shots into his chest until he fell over. <laughs> All right, Ryan. So you got, you have a helmet. I got a vest and it's equipped now. Okay. Wait, now we oh, but I don't want to lose my police helmet. You have a coal or pack? My police, well, it's just a hat, but. Oh. oh, this is a rusted barge, Ryan. 
Yo, no. dude, you're like less than two minutes from the end. What is the likelihood they're gonna be players at the extraction point? Uh, players. Oh! Sorry, shots. Players few, scabs, 80% chance. I don't know if those shots were at me, but it was real close. Yo, make I sure to keep the it. view sync. You're gonna see a lot of action on different perspectives while me and Ryan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I might not make it alive out of here, gentlemen. Matt, you I've came got, so I've long, got the, you got I've it. got the vase in the gamma gamma case. That was a good get, Mathis. That's a real good get. I'm glad to hear it. I prefer to leave with my life, though. I see the rock tunnels ahead. I bought a very expensive helmet, but I can't put it on. <laughs> so toxic. I'm out of ammo. Oh, no. I mean, shot at. You're right there, Mathis. I, I know, but I'm bleeding and I can't see. I don't know how to heal myself. How do I heal? Uh, unless you have it bound, you're gonna have to go into your inventory. <laughs> okay. I think that's a scab. Are we still radio science or can we talk? Uh, he's still around. He's still alive. He's shooting. He's shooting. He's shooting. I can't run either. <laughs> Do you have any PKs? Oh, he's down. He's down. He's down. Let's go. Cool. But I'm limping. I know that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is there any PKs? I don't know what that is. Uh, pain, got... pain killers. <laughs> I mean, dude, if you're at barge, you're pretty much there. Yeah, I've got I've got A1 med kits. That's it. All right, Ryan. I'm gonna limp my way to the exit. I already place. bought a helmet. I look like one of the dudes that. Uh, Grandma Tarkin says, like, power up the laser. You know, <laughs> I got one of those Spaceballs helmets on. Not a level one from PUBG, but the one that, like, flares at the back. Mm. It also looks like I could put a baseball card on the front. <laughs> Ryan, go to uh, go to the therapist. <laughs> mm okay. And then buy yourself some uh, $4,300 painkillers. Trading dealers therapist 4300 euro painkillers i'd buy like two of my i'm out boys let's, let's go. go is it in her showcase uh therapist by yeah so it's second so top left oh, second okay. one from the left thank you thank you yeah, yeah i don't have some items required to finish the deal okay oh because i have to put the rubles in my stash maybe no 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 what is it so you're are you in the top left corner yeah and does it say uh, 4370? Yes. Okay, click that. And then okay. at the bottom it says fill items. Mm. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. To, to my disappointment, none of the three things I killed were players. You don't. Dude, they were all scabs. One could be a, a player scab. Oh, maybe, yeah. maybe. The one with all the right. purple backpack. Yeah. I assume. I bought 10 PKs and I'm ready to pop <laughs> oh up the next God. episode. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I spent like 100,000 rubles. I'm ready to become <laughs> part of the empire. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Teaching Tarkov. The the two boys, the Padawans, made it out alive. They're ready to upgrade. We will uh, see you guys tomorrow for the next episode. Later, guys. Goodbye. Later.